Another way to create a named model space view to place on a sheet layout would be to use a callout tool to create an enlarged plan detail. Let's review this. Opening the sheet file A-501 stair plans, I want to add an enlarged stair plan to this layout. So opening the view file 02-dimensioned and zooming in on the stairway on the lower left, from the tool palette's document group callouts palette, at the top I'll pick the detail boundary B tool. At the specify one corner of detail box prompt, I'll pick above and to the left of the stairway. At the specify opposite corner of detail box prompt, I'll pick below and to the right of the stair. The callout boundary is created. At the specify first point of leader line on boundary prompt, I'll pick diagonally down from the lower right of the callout boundary. At the specify next point of leader line end line prompt, I'll pick to the right then press enter. In the place callout dialog box, I'll name the view detail of second level floor plan. I'm going to create it in the current drawing, but will uncheck generate section elevation and place title mark. I'll make sure the scale is one quarter inch equals one foot zero inches. I'll pick the current drawing button. At the specify first corner for model space view prompt, I'll again pick above and to the left of the stair. At the specify opposite corner for model space view prompt, I'll pick below and to the right. On the view tab for this file, we'll see the named model space view listed that we just created. Typing the command show model space views, we'll see all of them in this file. Saving the file and reopening the A-501 sheet file. From the view tab, I'll drag and drop the callout view of the second level stair into the layout. I'll pick a placement point. In the viewport, I don't need to see the callout boundary layer. Double clicking inside the viewport, from the Home tab Layers panel, I'll pick the Off tool, then pick the boundary line and press Enter. Double clicking in paper space, on the tool palette's document group callouts palette, I want a callout that is not in the palette. At the bottom, I'll pick more callout tools. This opens content browser in the documentation tool catalog imperial callouts category. Using the left arrow on the upper left of the dialog box to go up a level, then pick next on the upper right. On the second page, I'll pick the title mark category. I'll drag and drop the upper left tool, which includes a sheet number, into the drawing, then dismiss Content Browser. At the specify location of symbol prompt, I'll pick below the viewport, then drag to the right and pick a second point. The view title field, view, sheet number, and scale are not updated. Selecting the callout that I've placed, then picking on a non-grip point, and dragging and dropping it onto the named model space view in the view file, the fields are updated. Reopening the 02-dimensioned view file, the callout tags fields have updated also. Opening the A-102 sheet file and adjusting the viewport title mark and boundary, this sheet file is using the same view file as an XREF, therefore the fields in the tag are the same. So one of the major advantages in using Project Navigator is creating named model space views in your view files, dragging and dropping them onto your sheet file layout tabs, and having all of the callout and title tags coordinate properly.